Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jim Trainer, Communications Director, Hyundai Motor America. Uh, hello and welcome. Good afternoon, everyone. Hyundai and the auto industry have come a long way, and the vehicles are even more involved in our daily lives with the ability to impact the world in positive ways. The vehicle has transcended the singular role of transportation in people's lives, and at Hyundai, we are moving beyond the confined space of this one-dimensional way of thinking to create technology tailored to the needs of each person's individual's necessities and idiosyncrasies. Thank you for being here, and I'd first like to welcome Won Hong Cho, our global CMO, to the stage. Thank you, Jim. Well, let's start with customer experience we face every day in our lives. Most of us here will agree that smartphones are the most influential products. And remember, when you first bought your smartphone, we all had the same screen and applications. But soon, everyone's home screen looks different based on preferences. Just like fingerprints, nobody has the same screen. That's because we all have different lifestyles. So at Hyundai, we aim to provide a unique customer experience no one else ever offered so far, but the customers have been looking for. So ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome all of you to the age of Style Set Free. Style Set Free is a future customer experience that enables customers to create their own life space inside a car by upgradable products and services. Therefore, we will build self-customizing marketplace similar to an app store. For this experience, you will use your smartphone or other retail channels to get access to the customizing market before and even after your purchase. Imagine one vehicle shared by many family members can be upgraded according to each member's lifestyle and needs. A mother can remove the seats and install a table for breakfast. And in the afternoon, father can install workout equipment like a rowing machine and move the seats to various positions to work out during long hours in a car. The center face here will be equipped with larger multi-screen to provide, for example, uh, educational contents for the children, as well as online shopping and so on. This platform provides a quiet and a stable travel experience by utilizing the world's first integrated drive axle technology, IDA. Using this upgradable EV as a foundation, we will introduce new business model. This is dedicated for people who want to do more than just getting from A to B as we plan to build a new mobility ecosystem. In the future, we will be able to offer mobility and more by miles, by minutes, and by megawatts. Now, let's welcome jong Chik, who will introduce the future of Hyundai's connectivity technology, which is another key in designing our own world. Thanks. Thank you for kind introduction, Onong. It's my great pleasure to talk about our strategy for connected car. I'm introducing Hyundai's global leading strategy for connected car. We call it Transcend Connectivity. Transcend Connectivity represents Hyundai Motors' vision to go beyond simple wire wireless communication and enable a safer, freer, and more convenient connection to customer lifestyles. Each connected car 
has the function of collecting, computing, and processing the data created by the vehicle. And the millions of these each edge cloud are collected into a giant cloud data center. It can deliver new and extended valuable to customers by improved exchanging of information. As a result, the vehicle will transcend its existing simple unilateral connectivity. Moving on, let's invite John s a o from Hyundai Cradle to the stage. Thanks for the introduction, Jung s h e k Hello, everybody. Most of you may not know much about Hyundai Cradle. Cradle is the hub of Hyundai's corporate venturing and open innovation business, and it stands for the Center for Robotic Augmented Design and Living Experiences. We are located in Menlo Park, California. We invest in startups, form partnerships, and do special projects to accelerate Hyundai Motor Group's strategic initiatives in our core business and new growth area. Areas. Every day, Cradle is looking for disruptive and radical innovations in artificial intelligence, robotics, smart mobility, energy, and other technologies. 2018 was a very busy year for us. I just can't believe it was just over a year ago in November 2017 when we officially announced the Cradle organization. Now, let's take a look at four of our companies in our portfolio: WayRay, MetaWave. Perceptive Automata, and Optus Technologies. WayRay is a Swiss-based company developing a holographic augmented reality navigation system for cars. WayRay's technology creates a true AR experience where virtual objects are seamlessly integrated into a vehicle's environment. The second is MetaWave, a Palo Alto-based company building intelligent 4D radars for active safety and automated driving. Third, Perceptive Automata. a Boston-area startup applying techniques from neuroscience, psychology, and machine learning to give automated vehicles a more human-like intuition. And finally, Opsis Technologies, an Israeli-based company that is developing solid-state LiDAR systems for the automated autonomous vehicle market. Opsis LiDAR uses multi-wavelength lasers, which enable high-resolution detection at longer ranges and faster scanning rates. This is just a small sample of the more than 30 companies we've added to, or soon will add to, our portfolio. But for today, I'll highlight our plans in just two areas: machine learning and computer vision. AirLab Korea will focus on image detection and classification, automated video annotation, and multimodal route planning. Now, the second area I'll talk about is robotics, and how might we merge robotics into vehicles together, and what uses. Could there be? So we ask, what if a car designed with robotics could actually save lives in a natural disaster? Let's think about it for a moment. There were 10,000 global fatalities in natural disasters in 2017, and almost the same amount in 2016. And while no one ever wants to be to be experienced being stranded in a forest fire, an earthquake. Blizzard, hurricane, or flood, the need for search and rescue and humanitarian aid missions is intensifying across the globe. So, one possible answer to delivering assistance after disaster could be a vehicle with movable legs. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to show you a video of the Hyundai Elevate walking car concept.
No? Thank you. Thank you. And now I would like to bring up David Byron, Manager of Design and Innovation Strategy at Sunbrook Ferrar, to help me tell you more about this amazing and exciting vehicle. Thank you, John. Elevate blends technology found in EV vehicles and robotics to create the first UMV, the ultimate mobility vehicle. Now, transportation is really focused on last mile solutions in recent years, but we're focusing on the last 100 yards. A vehicle with legs could drive first responders to a location like any traditional vehicle, but then walk or climb over treacherous terrain to directly reach the injured or stranded like you saw in the video. Now, I'd like to show you our scale model prototype and robot. So the Elevate concept is built on a modular vehicle chassis. The bodies actually can come off and swap out for different use cases or needs. The legs are connected to the chassis, which houses the battery. Now, the legs here have five degrees of freedom, two in the hip, one in the knee, two in the ankle, and an in-wheel propulsion motor. So the legs here can move in both mammalian walking gates and reptilian. And the front and the rear are exactly the same, making this truly an omnidirectional vehicle. The legs can also retract, as you saw in the video, into a driving mode. So all of the motors here are non-back drivable. So the power can be cut, and the leg then rests on a passive suspension system. So it can drive efficiently like any other EV. But there's no other vehicle that can climb a five-foot wall or step over a five-foot gap or put its tires out 15 feet wide, all while keeping the body and the passengers completely level. So let me show you the robot here. We built this robot to study our architecture and prove out our motion capabilities while beginning to develop some programming code. So we have an app here that can run nine of its capabilities. <laughs> so the joints in the scale model match the proportions exactly of the final design. And what you're seeing here is it moving in reptilian mode, which is the most stable for off-road uh, conditions. But the hip joint design allows it to rotate into mammalian if you want to walk faster or more efficiently in a linear direction. Now let's watch a video here of some of the other things the Elevate robot can do. So this, this isn't only a revolutionary design in quadruped robotics, you know, capable of both reptilian and mammalian walking modes. It also has wheels that can be locked or roll, allowing for dynamic capabilities in, in either mode. You know, David, just looking at this, I think that what this vehicle can do in, in the application seem pretty amazing. Yeah, very much so, John. So let me give you a couple real-world examples. Imagine if all the vehicles that ended up stranded in a snow ditch, how many traveled from Detroit, and you've seen a car just 10 feet off the road. It didn't actually hit anything. But the passengers could be stranded for two, three hours, in some rural areas, even overnight. If that vehicle could just stand up a couple feet and crawl itself out of the ditch, you'd be on your way. Or think about all the people living with disabilities worldwide that don't have access to ADA ramps like we do in America. They could hail an autonomous taxi, and it could get up, walk over their flower bed, get right to their front door, level itself, and they could roll their wheelchair right out their front door into the vehicle. It could walk back to the road, and it's on its way. 